Hey guys, it's your old pal Liz Dexic, Eddie, Edward Giant, Paper Demon, etc. Um, just coming to you guys really quick for uh, belated Christmas and uh, New Year's greeting thing. Uh, so yeah, Happy New Year, Happy Christmas. Um, went to MAGFest this year. This is actually one of the reasons I, I'm making the video. So we got a lot of cool stuff that just went on. I've been under a lot of stuff lately, and I apologize if I seem a little bit out of it right now. I'm, I have medication in my system. Uh, fun story. Uh, before MAGFest, my face was swollen, like, out to here. Okay? I almost didn't make it, to be honest with you. And, you know, my buddy Jesse, we're talking, and he says, Dude, if you don't make it, I'm going to kill you. And he said something about breaking off my fingers and... Breaking the bones into shards and putting them in my eyes or something. I don't remember. I love that guy. Sorry. You know. Uh, basically, I'm sitting down at dinner and, like, suddenly I, I'm chewing. I'm having a hard time opening and closing my mouth. And it pops. Yeah. And I'm like, dude. I, I, said, I text Jesse. I'm like, dude, I'm, I feel great. I'm in. It's gone. My, my thing is gone. My abscess is gone. And he's like... Dude, that is so incredible, because I was just thinking about you getting rid of that thing. And we, we had a moment, it was like, all things happen for a reason, guys. If you don't believe that, pfft, ugh, humans. Anyway, um, excuse me. One of the main reasons I came here is to explain a little bit about the uh, MAGFest video that I just posted a little bit ago. Um, that video was taken at MAGFest at the Ellen McLean panel. Um, I was sitting in the front section of seats in the back row on the middle right-hand side. I was dressed as a blue spy. Um, point of reference, if any of y'all saw me at MAGFest, you probably saw me in my blue spy outfit, if you met me there, that is. And you're not going to recognize me without the bottle cloth on my face. So this is me. This is my face. And I'm not swelled, so I'm good. Hey. Because <laughs> I know a couple of people, I waved at them at MAGFest out of costume, and they're like, what the fuck's this guy? I'm like... Oh yeah, it's the thing, because I had the face mask and the hats and the suit. Yeah, I actually had a couple hats for the thing. I'll get into that later, possibly. I don't even know at this point what I'm talking about. I have medication in my system. I just I, I got a headache and a fever out of nowhere, not even like an hour ago. And I have like an I have an hour and some odd change to get ready for work. Yeah. Oh, and I have a job. I don't know if I mentioned it in my Thanksgiving video, but I have a new job, and I've been working there uh, at least three to five days a week, um, and that, that explains a little bit of my inactivity. I do have videos planned, I have um, a little bit of Planet 2 music to upload, I have, um, I redid a good majority of Still Alive, actually, after I did the Ellen McLean panel, because I like, oh, I, I'm sorry, I'm trailing off into like five different conversations at the same time, and that's because my brain's a little fried at the moment. I don't talk much anymore, the most interaction I get anymore is at work and when I'm at home with my mom and her boyfriend and with my friends that I have uh, but outside of that I really don't talk to people and I really hope to change that because I, I like having human interaction and honestly you guys probably don't even give a crap <laughs> about me I'm just some nobody dude that posts shit on YouTube but I, I know that one day I'm not going to be a big big time person, but I'd like to think that someday someone's going to look back at this stuff and say, wow, this guy's pretty good. Pretty cool guy. I'd like that. I don't, I don't really care at this point. Um, I know I get a lot of down, down likes on my videos, dislikes rather, on my videos, and it doesn't hurt my feelings. It's just one of those things where you're like, oh, why did you dislike it? I always talk about that in my videos because I'm like, hey, if you're going to dislike my videos, just let me know why. And, you know, I'm breaking off subject again. Sorry. I, I have videos to upload. I redid uh, Still Alive. Um, I worked on Pinky's Brew again. Don't kill me. I know I've done enough, but the 8-bit version needs a little bit of tweaking to get it to sound right in my mind. Just a little tiny bit. Not much. It's just a little tiny, minute change. That's it. That's it. And, you know, it's, it's nothing big. But, yeah. Anyways, back to the Ellen McLean thing. I happen to be at the right time at the right place. Um, Harley Quinn, uh, the little Harley Quinn, Quinn um, cosplayer. She was cute as hell. And she started, she went up for a question of Ellen McLean, and she started squealing and, oh my God, fangirling. 
And Ellen's like, it's okay, calm down. Why don't you come up here? We'll sing a song together. And I'm like, pull my camera out, press the button, start recording. And apparently everybody was like awestruck that I actually posted it. Because I'm getting comments on my video like, oh my god, this was the most feels-inducing thing ever. And right now I think I'm at like 98 views, something like that. And I'm literally like, what the hell? How did I get 98 views on this craptastic video that I took off my cell phone? And it's incredible in a sense to me to see these people awestruck by my video. I mean, I'm not really used to that. Really, I've been getting some really good comments on my stuff lately, and I'm really, really liking the feedback you all are giving me. So, thank you very much for giving me positive feedback on my stuff. Really. All of you are very important to me, and I really uphold you all with respect. All of my followers, all the people that come to me on my YouTube channel to look at my videos, everyone in my friends and my family, I really appreciate everything you all do for me, and you make me so happy. You have no idea. Ugh. Anyways, back to stories, because um, MAGFest stuff was incredible. My first MAGFest, MAGFest 2015, should be coming up at the beginning of the next year. I'm not sure exactly the date, but they're probably going to be posting something about it sometime in the next couple of days, which would be great. I'd love, or not the next couple of days, sometime in the next couple of months. Maybe, at best. Excuse me, I'm sorry. I Like I said, I don't feel all too great today. I'm going to work, but I just feel like crap. <laughs> So, yeah, um, basically, once the swelling had gone completely out of my face, I have pictures of the swelling on my Tumblr, I think. I have one picture where I'm in my Decepticon uniform, and I'm like, hey, this is my face, and it looks like crap. Um, so, yeah, um, anyways, where was I? Do you remember where I was? Oh, yeah, MAGFest stories, okay. So... The first night was MAGPROM. Unfortunately, I had to get some, a little bit of help with money from my family because I went there broke. I didn't realize it. Like, literally, the day beforehand, I looked at my account, and I'm like, $2.15? That's inconceivable. It's inconceivable! But, you know, I went, and I got some help with family so I could get some pizza, and I had pizza with my friends. And the first night was MAGPROM, which... I refer, I refer to it lovingly as Stag Prom because it was a sausage fest. Ha! Huh? Stag, sausage fest, Stag Prom. Yeah, we're good. But yeah, you know, I went to, I went to Stag Prom. I, I have this stuck in my head now, I'm sorry. And I got sick and tired of it. I went outside for a quick minute just to catch my breath and get all the... <sighs> so many couples. I mean, it'd be great if I had someone there with me to like dance with me and pile around with. And... You know, my boy Jesse's doing his own thing, and I'm okay with that, because Magnus is one of those things where you have your own individual experiences, and I value that at this point, because Magfest was incredible for me. Anyways, I went outside to catch my breath, get away from all the couples, and when I come back inside, I say, you know what, fuck it, the band that I wanted to see is pretty much done, I'll go back in there in a few minutes, I'm going to hit up the dealer's room. So I went to the dealer's room, and I start walking around for a few minutes, and there's this guy at the vendor booth that has all the glassware and stuff, and he's buying this huge-ass order of glassware. And he picks up this Decepticon mug, and he's like, I want to get one of these. He's talking to the, uh, to the vendor. And I say, dude, nice choice in mugware. And he said, thanks, man, thanks, man. We started talking Transformers for like 10 minutes straight. Not even kidding here. And he's still ordering stuff. He looks. At the, he, he says, "Hold on a second. He looks over to the vendor and says, "Hey, I want to get a Septicon shot glass for this guy. He's pretty fucking awesome." I'm like, "Really? No, because you know how much of a big Decepticon fan I am. And for God's sakes, I got it on my chest. I'm not gonna lie. That that's the tattoo. So yeah. Now you know. Knowing is half the battle. Go Joe. Um. So yeah, I, I got a free Decepticon shot glass from this really awesome dude, and it made my mag vest. These little tiny random acts of kindness make everything great and that's one of the things that i'd like to share this year little random acts of kindness one of my other new year's resolutions is to do a lot of adventuring and when i take my adventures i'm going to head out with you guys with me because you guys my followers my friends my family i want you guys to be there to experience these wonderful things i'm going to experience with me um this year i have planned i'm going to KatsuCon next which is going to be next month in february and hopefully i'll be going to otakon in baltimore in the summer Ooh, maybe my sister can come. I get to have adventures with my sister. Oh my god. She's so amazing. 
Um, so yeah, that's what I have planned. Um, I'm actually working on a couple of cosplays right now. I have a Harvey Dent cosplay, which is like a crossover between the movie version with the suit and the cartoon version with the split face. I really like that face better than the one from the movie, honestly, the new movie at least. The old movie is a lot better as far as two faces is concerned, in my book at least. Um, I'm at ten minutes, let me cut this short. Um, my other cosplays I have lined up is I'm hopefully going to be doing a Transformers cosplay. Ooh, I know my buddy's going to listen to this. Jesse, if you hear this video, you should totally, like, do one with me, because that would make me happy. You could go with Starscream. Dude, you could go with Starscream. I'll let you, because I'm going to be Decepticon. We can be Decepticon buddies, you know? Yeah. I also want to do... I, this is really goofy, and it popped in my head like a little bit ago when I took my medication. I want to do a Three Stooges cosplay, or, like, the Melix Brothers, because... You know, the older people, the older generations, like my generation maybe, they'll get the joke. They'll get the references. And all these new kids are like, what the fuck are you guys cosplaying as? And we're like, yeah, it, you know, it's a thing. It happened a long time ago, but it's a thing. And we're 80s and 90s kids. Fucking deal with it. So, yeah. All right, I'm 11 minutes. Um, one last thing before I go is I'm actually going through, I, I've had some complaints about my AKAs. And it became my thing for a while, and I just kind of rolled with it, honestly. I'm going to break down all of my channels to the same kind of name. Um, this channel is going to be LizDexic underscore Eddie once I get a chance to go in and modify it. I, I currently don't have a computer still, which I'm working on. Um, outside of that, my Tumblr is LizDexic dash Eddie. My DeviantArt is LizDexic dash Eddie as well. And my PlayStation ID is still LizDexic underscore Eddie. And I'll be leaving those in the, the uh, description down below. Um, so feel free to check that out. Um, also, if you have any ideas for cosplays I could do, leave me a comment down below. If you were at MAGFest and you saw the Blue Spy, I had hats and mask thing, um, hit me up down below as well. Uh, and follow my links to my Twitter. Uh, well, my Twitter is pretty much inactive at this point. <laughs> not going to lie. Oh, excuse me. No one heard that. Um, I'm going to leave uh, my names for my Tumblr and DeviantArt and my PSN down below, so that way you guys have the names, not links, I'm sorry, there's the names of them. So you guys can check those out in your own free time. Um, hopefully this video didn't have any burps. I know I've been having a lot of videos with uh, little tiny gaps in the audio. I thank God the Elle McLean panel didn't do that. Oh God, that would have been horrible. But hopefully this video goes through okay and you guys heard everything I said. If not, um, I'll be coming to you with some new reviews sometime soon and some new videos as well. So look forward to that. Happy New Year, Happy Christmas, Happy Magmas, guys. Love you all. Let's next to Getty out.